Hello once again, this is Lawrence of Silicon Valley High School. In this video tutorial series, we've been discussing GUI creation, event handling techniques, and for our ninth video, we will discuss the difference between AWT and Swing components. So what's the difference between an AWT and Swing? First, AWT stands for Abstract Window Toolkit. And Swing is a next generation GUI component. So in, let's try to take a look at the definition or what the internet um, tells us about the, dif the difference between Swing and AWT. Okay, so I just googled AWT versus Swing. Alright, uh, basically AWT is the first generation GUI component says here that it's a heavyweight GUI component because every component in your AWT um, is considered as a native component of each uh, operating system. AWT stands for Abstract Window Toolkit. That's why whenever you create a Java code, let's say what we have here is our, is our calculator, we're importing the AWT package. So when I run this application in Windows, it will assume the look and feel of the, uh, of the um, GUI components in Windows. And if I run this application in Mac, it will assume the look and feel of Mac. Essentially, the components and the containers look and feel will depend entirely on the underlying operating system. That's why it's called AWT or Abstract Windowing Toolkit. The abstract part there is the actual look and feel. So in our, um, let's see, if we're going to run our calculator, we've created this calculator in our previous video. If we're going to run this in, in Mac, this is how it looks like. But if you're going to run this in Windows, this is how it will look like. Okay, notice the difference between the, the frame for Windows okay, and the buttons in Windows versus the frame and the buttons in Mac. Okay, the functionality is the same. Okay, both of them are functioning, even the close button. But their look and feel, let's take a look at the functionality here. Plus, minus, times, divide, clear, and close. So both of them are working, but they look differently because they have they are running in two different operating system. So the next question is how do we convert our AWT to Swing or why do we need to do that uh, why do we need to convert it because Swing um, according to this um, Swing was developed to be a more sophisticated set of GUI component compared with the earlier AWT component. So Swing is a more powerful, flexible, and it has a lot more uh, components that was added on top of AWT. Also, Swing is considered as a lightweight version of AWT. Okay, so how do we make use or how can we convert our application to Swing? So first, we need to import the Java X dot swing package. Now Java X meaning it came from Java extension package. So if we look at the API, so these are the AWT packages. All right, so you have AWT color, data and transfer, DND. So these are the AWT package. And if you scroll down a bit further, you will see that you also have a lot of swing packages. Here we go. Okay. Now, 
In this basic video, we'll just take a look at the swing package. And if we scroll down on the list of classes, you will notice that in the letter J part, all of the classes here starts with letter J and the second name are actually classes from AWT. For example, in AWT, you have applet, button, checkbox. In swing, you have J applet, J option, J checkbox, and J button, and so on and so forth. Then you have also a lot of other components on top of the pre-existing one, pre ones like J password field, um, J list drop location. Okay, so these are more uh, added components that we can use in Swing. Okay, so after importing our um, Swing package, okay, we just need to add J to all components and containers. Containers. Okay. Do not add J to layout managers. Okay, so frame and panel are containers, so let's add J to them. Okay, labels, text fields, buttons, as well as their constructor calls. Let's just add J to them, J panel, J label, J text field, J button. And that's about it. Do not add J to layout managers. Let's review our code. Yep, that's about it. So let's save our code and let's recompile Java C simple calculator dot Java. We got a clean compile and this is how a swing component looks like. Now you may say that it doesn't look much different from the AWT component and swing because we're running it in Mac. But let's try to view the difference here in Windows. Okay, I have two command prompts and in the first command prompt here, I've prepared the AWT version of calculator. Let me minimize that. And in this command prompt here, I prepared the swing component version of the calculator. So here we go. Oops, let me just. And let me just zoom in. In this version, you will see that there's a clear difference between the look and feel of AWT. This is your AWT calculator, and this is your swing calculator. Look at those fine bot buttons there, the glossy buttons. Look at the. Um, the background of the frame, this is all white, this is a bit bluish gray, and the labels are highlighted in bold. The labels here are not. So, um, for me, Swing is a better looking GUI component. So, to test both of them, oops, sorry about that. Oh, um, sorry, let's try, let's click on plus, minus, times, divide clear and plus minus times divide clear so if we close this close this and let me go back to windows uh, to to mac right right so again in a how to convert your awt components or how to convert your awt code to swing just first Add the JavaX swing package in your list of import statement, and then add J, capital J, to all components and containers, and do not add J to layout managers. So mostly on your declaration and instantiation of all of your components and container, and you're all good. In our next video, we will create what we call an executable jar file so that we can um, pass this around as a 
uh, an application that you can double click on. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy coding!